Welcome to Outdoor Planet. And I'm just joshing with you. We're back on the motherboards.org channel. It's me, Elric, and I am feeling a little bit outdoorsy today. And so we're going to take one of these power supplies by the people over at Cougar. You can hear the dogs barking in the background because we're all outdoors. Now my dog's barking. It's like a total fiesta of dog barking. But this is a 1050 watt Cougar power supply. Now, this thing's probably going to be modular, probably semi modular. The last one I saw was semi modular, but I only like them that way, anyways. I don't like fully modular because the power connection should be solid. Anyways, I don't have a knife today, so. We're going to do this old school. You know what I mean? Take it here, get my hands all dirty, take some plastic here. I'll rip it off and I'll show you guys the box as I rip it all off. So I'm doing a balancing act here. All right. Uh, I'm thinking green today, so I'm going to hand the cameraman all the stuff there. Just remember that. Always think green. Let's take a look at the box. So, Cougar GX power supply unit, 1050 watts. Ba boom. 80 plus gold. Yes, there is 80 plus platinum, but 80 plus gold is good enough for anybody. Come on. If you had a gold ring, you'd be cool. You had a platinum ring, you'd be like, what is this? Doesn't even look cool. But anyways, I know it's regardless, but I like to talk crazy stuff. Anyways, so here's nomenclature on the side. Some people might be interested in this. Now, on the back of the box, they show the most advanced technology being that their power supply runs very cool and very quiet with their Vortex technology. So you guys can see that right there in the back. This box actually weighs quite a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and start unboxing it now. Take this little tab right here. Click it off. Pretty simple there. So we're going to hear Oh, by the way, probably forgot to mention this. Didn't want to forget about it. Five-year warranty. I have just dropped the Cougar GX manual. So here is the manual. It tells you all the different rails and everything inside of it. Kablammy blammy. Give that over to the cameraman. I'll go ahead and open the box up now. We can see it's all nice. Now here are all the cables. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just set the box down because it weighs a ton. And then I'll come back up here to mic range. And here are all the cables. Now, some of you guys before, you guys really complained about this. And you said you weren't really interested in these type of cables. You wanted to be all braided. But these type of cables are really cool for cable management. If you're running into the back of a system, they're totally flat. I mean, check that out. That's really good for cable management. The other ones may look better. But in truth, these are better for cable management. Here comes another car driving by. Wave at the kitties. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. All right. So there's an awful lot of these in here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, figure out where the thing comes apart at. Here we go. Oop, and I'm dropping them. And I'll just drop them into the box anyways. So let me get back up here. And let's bring them up to the camera one at a time and show them all to you. So that's cable number one. get these all out here it's kind of interesting type of unboxing out here I usually sit down but I didn't feel like doing that today I want to do something different so different means unusual and uh, harder because it's not routine so check this one out all of your SATA bing 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 very nice very long go ahead and drop that cable down just randomly selecting cables here trying not to drop them okay here's one of your major power cables right here designated by its red I'm sure we'll see this matches in the power supply when we get there Now there's a little bulldog running by my house right now, just running down the street by himself, cruising. I don't know if we got him in the video or not, but that was kind of interesting. So here's one of the first power cables. Go ahead and drop that one down as well. Another one of the power cables. Six, eight. Sorry about that, folks. Trying to actually do this and uh, beat my neighbors from coming home in the middle of traffic. Another power, six to eight again. Now somebody's actually listening to the radio at full blast in the background. You gotta love it when you live in suburbia, man. When you live in the burbs, you gotta deal with the dwerbs. I don't know. Another one of those? Six to eight? Got quite a bit of those. Sounds like somebody's watching the ball game. Sounds like a baseball game. Yep, so it's seventh inning. So here we go. More power. Molex and Zeta. All here. More Molex. Some of the power supplies of unboxed don't have Molex. I do like to have the option of Molex because sometimes you need them. So here's another one right here. 
So now we got that. Let me actually get out the next part of the power supply. Oh, by the way, here's the giant power plug as well, in case you're interested. It's in there, power plug. So here's the power supply itself. And as you can see, it's semi-modular. All the power cables are connected. I think this is the best design. Some people disagree, but I don't. I think this is the best. So let me go ahead and take this out here. This power supply, by the way, weighs a freaking ton. So let's check it out. I don't know if the cameraman can zoom over there, but there's the dog running wild. He's coming over here again. There he is running down the street. Here he comes. <laughs> he's just cruising, and I don't know what the dude's deal is, but he's cruising. What's up, dog? I mean, literally, he was a freaking dog. So, <laughs> all right. Now back to the unboxing. Here's the power supply. So now you guys can see all the nomenclature of the power supply. As the baseball game goes on in the background, I mean, I'm gonna have to say this. I think the Dodgers just hit a home run, so it goes all da 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 da. So somebody's gonna be happy. Flip it around the side. Now, for you guys out there who like gold and black, there's an actually ECS motherboard. I may have said this before. They have gold and black motherboards. They're really cool. It's gonna match this design, the Cougar GX, 1050 watt, suitable for anything. SLI Crossfire. Here's the Vortex fan. These power supplies really do run very quiet. I've only been using them now for about, I think about 45 days. I've had a couple on the test bench. They run no problem. I have incurred no problems with them so far. So actually so far, so good. Now, here's all your power connections in the back. These are gonna be all your main things for your video cards and everything. And then these are gonna be for all your peripherals and stuff. And then obviously you've got the power cable, which we discussed a minute ago. So that's pretty much it. Here's where the power plug goes in. You guys can see there's an on and off switch. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just screwing around. But anyways, all right, guys, this is it. This is the Cougar Vortex 1050 watt power supply unboxing, five-year warranty, 80 plus gold, all the connections a guy could ever need to build himself a custom kick-ass system. See you guys back here on motherboards.org.